The shooter was confronted by our Good Samaritan, who I will identify in just a moment. Uh, the Good Samaritan was armed with a pistol and engaged the uh, shooter as he stood outside the restaurant restroom area firing into the food court. The shooter fired several rounds, striking the suspect. The suspect attempted to retreat back, retreat back into the restroom and fail, fell to the ground after being shot. Dickens drill, 40 yards, 10 rounds, 15 seconds, 8 hits. Stand by to get some. No one said it isn't gonna suck. Okay, well, <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, out of ten. So, you need to be uh, good enough that when you take training, when you acquire a skill, and it could be, it could be gun stuff, it could be medical stuff, it doesn't really matter what it is, but the people in your group, your family, your sphere of influence, your circle of concern. Whatever it is that you do, you should be able to teach them to a base competency level where they can do it to sort of a beginner's level. Everyone should be able to do everybody's job. Not perfectly, not as well as the people who do it as their main thing, but enough to get by. Because we're all expendable and replaceable, really. And uh, when we're in a group and one of us is down for whatever reason, the rest of the group picks up after that person, right? now. This young man at a mall with his girlfriend uh, did that for some people, right? And he's a hero. He's definitely a hero. I want to see future generations, like the next generation, uh, where that's just the normal thing. There's not even, that's not even hero shit. Hero shit is like another level higher. And in order to get that, that means that we need to spread not tales of heroism, but tales of normalcy. Where this is the norm. This is the base level. That's what we're working towards. So, join us, get better, do the things, keep getting after it.